Here we go. Uh, I am here with Dan Heaton, my good friend and roommate, and Dan uh, accepted my request to do an interview with him about paleo dieting and his experience training with me. So, I'm looking forward to it. Dan, is there anything that you want to say before we get started with the questions? Not nope. at all. Let's get it. Cool. Let's get on with it. Okay. So, um, how did you start? How did you start? And when you you initially started with me in what month? Uh, Do you remember? February, I would say. Yeah. Of last year. February. So. No, of this year, 2010. 2010. Yeah, maybe late January, some, yeah. somewhere in that range. Cool. Kettlebells, yep. primarily in the beginning. A little bit of gymnastics. Yep. And for the first, I don't know, you did two or three months with me in my class, and then we moved out of that room, and we moved to the back room, and yep. that was almost the exact same time that you ended up moving in here. Right. To our apartment. Um, Dan has been living with me for most of the time, so he got kind of like a... a just roommates. Just roommates. Just roommates. Well, except for that... That relationship status change on that was that was awkward. Um, we have uh, had the chance to do a lot more one-on-one -on -one consultation stuff because Dan is obviously around more than anybody else. So That's the way it works, he got uh, he got a lot more information than most of my other clients get. But he was also willing to accept and roll with a lot of what I had to suggest too. Um, so you started in kettlebell class. With what? What did you do right before kettlebell class? What were you doing before you came to my class? I believe you were spinning. Spinning. That was pretty much it. You weren't playing any sports at the time. No. Uh, no. No nope, soccer. Nope. Started afterwards. Soccer yeah. started later. Yeah. Um, spinning. A couple and times a week. your training history before coming to me was primarily sports specific. Yeah. And limited weight training. Yeah. General, I would say. General, General barbell, yeah. Yeah. dumbbell. No program. Not program yeah. based. And you had done some stuff with your dad, yeah. who was a natural bodybuilder. Yeah, and also a powerlifter. He was both. Also a powerlifter. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so you started doing kettlebell stuff with me, and then we eventually moved on to doing gymnastics stuff after I had asked you guys, uh, you guys being my friends in the right. class, if you guys wanted to do uh, gymnastics-specific training. Hung up the rings in the back, and we had a talk. We went out to dinner, had a talk, and you decided you wanted to train with me privately. So we took it from there. Um, we pretty much used a lot of Coach Summer's methods uh, from the Building the Gymnastic one Body book, one of my favorite books. Great book. Um, I myself use a lot of Coach's methods to train myself. And taking it from there, we started you on a paleo diet. Um, your diet previously was like what? A normal, well, I, I wouldn't actually say normal diet, um, healthier than most, a lot of vegetables, fruit, um, I thought I ate enough meat, or at least got protein at every meal, because I knew that was important. Uh, yeah, I would have to say, if you asked me overall, I'd say it was healthier than a normal person's, but uh, looking back, I realized, uh, I have come to realize how much uh, grains were part of my diet every meal basically, in one form or the other. Um, so it's just a lot of normal stuff. I'd have burgers sometimes, but I wasn't like a, a pizza, but I wasn't a guy who had pizza and burgers every meal. But a sandwich, you know, a, a sandwich is healthy, right? Just some bread and some lean turkey. Some condiments. Some condiments, uh, some lettuce, tomatoes. But no, it's, I'm not coming from a background, just to make it clear, where it's like junk food. And I, cake and... Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I rarely ate sweet stuff. In, in you were not diabetic or anything, anything like that. No, no. <laughs> we, we took Dan from uh, kind of like an average athlete yeah. to where he's at average, right now. Average healthy, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and looking back, just pasta, I guess would be another thing. Pasta and bread were big things I realized that, uh, you know, even terms, in terms of alcohol, um, moderate, definitely moderate, maybe even a little bit uh, low to moderate. Certainly yeah. not drinking every night, not drinking right. heavy every time I drank. So for me, I thought overall is pretty healthy, pretty balanced. Yeah, definitely balanced. That was one right. of the things that always confused me about losing weight and things like that. We took you from uh, your typical diet from before to paleo diet, and that pretty much consisted of increasing your protein intake by eating a lot Big more time. meat. 
Big time. Probably another Increase. pound a day. And, uh, and the quality of meat that you're yeah. taking in changed yeah. as well. Um, we had you doing some fish oil. We started yeah. doing fish oil immediately. And we lowered your carbohydrate intake to nearly, uh, it had to be under 50 grams. Under 50 Definitely. And, and yeah. sometimes it was even lower than that Probably. based on your satiety level you yeah. eating. So um, sometimes it was very low. So the first couple of weeks, Dan was... Um, pretty much ketogenic, uh, yeah. and he got to experience the wonderful benefits of going ketogenic for the first time. Yeah. Like mood. Yep. Like changes. no fruit, like <laughs> nothing, nothing remotely sweet. No, yeah. That was rough. That was definitely. Yeah, go into that. Go into uh, the change in. Okay. Uh, that was, I would say, that was the biggest negative of the experience. Uh, granted, it was temporary. I didn't know at the time. I remember saying to myself that if this lasted, uh, it lasted maybe two days. Um, that was definitely the worst period, two days. If this keeps going on like this, I'm not sure I'll be able to, to handle it. If this is the way I'm going to be from now on, I thought I'd gotten to a pretty good place in terms of being happy, letting uh, unimportant things roll off my back and not flipping out or getting stressed out about things. And there were a couple of days there where I just hated the world. Everything was, was really ugly. But it passed. Um, but definitely, definitely an interesting experience. Uh, you should go into uh, what you were doing at the time as well. You, we weren't okay, just yeah. training and eating. Yeah, what my motivation was, was too, yeah. in general, because it just this was just a challenge from you when we started right. shortly after we started living together. Um, just a challenge to see if I could do it, and I like challenges, so I said yes. Um, I don't want to say I didn't think it through, but I was more motivated by the challenge than worried about what would happen, so I just kind of accepted. Uh, and with the goal to get stronger and lose weight, too pretty pretty good goals in my mind, pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. uh, what I was doing at the time, I was uh, working a lot, uh, probably averaging over over 50 hours, sometimes 60 uh, hours a week during that time period, a couple of months working a couple of jobs. Uh, I was really busy, uh, busy social life too. It's not like the social life dropped off, mm -hmm. playing soccer twice a week, indoor and outdoor, and then we were training about four times a week. Four times a week, solid. Yeah, yeah two of those two times were class, class, and then two of those times were, were private. So that would be longer did. sessions. And we would schedule really them intense. whenever you could fit them in. Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, like we had mentioned before, we pretty much stuck to uh, a steady state cycle, um, coach's steady state, but a little bit modified on some of the training days. Dan wanted to learn um, squatting and benching. Um, and it, just because, much like all, uh, many people that enter this arena, when I throw a bunch of things out there, they want to learn them all. So Dan wanted to learn as much as I could throw at him. So at first, we just we did whatever he could pick up, um, and we had fun doing it too. Yeah, it, was it wasn't a lot of fun. it wasn't just like it was sporadic training, and then we didn't get anywhere with it right. either. We we had fun doing it, and I think we saw some great results. Oh, great results. Too. And it wasn't a grind. That was the yeah. that was important to me. Yeah, exactly.